Hello, my friends. As you can see from that little clip, we had a beautiful, magnificent and very busy time in Paris. What you're looking at at the moment is the River Seine. It's so beautiful. And of course, to the left, the stunning Eiffel Tower by night. It was just the most incredible trip. We went up to the top, myself and Katie. I had seen it before, but not by night. And it was, I think, about 35 euro for two tickets. So it was just incredible. Very, very special time spent with my daughter. My son couldn't come on this trip, so we'll have to take him on a separate one. And yeah, we just had the best time. We did lots of shopping. I'll be taking you along. May have purchased a couple of bits. And excuse my voice, by the way. I'm so, so sorry, but I really wanted to get back to you guys and I haven't been well. So now you're looking at a Valois vintage and uh, there was two vintage shops we went to. One was Valois vi vintage and the other one was Edgery Paris. And this is Edgery and it was, oh my God, wall to wall with beautiful vintage gear and I just was in my element, absolute element, absolutely spoiled to be very, very honest with you. This Diana bag kind of stole my heart a little bit, but I wasn't sure. This was only the first or second day, so I wanted to have a proper look around and not um, jump in too quickly. So I just said, okay, we'll have a look. I know where it is. So it's basically on the 8th arrondissement. Paris is separated into all the R&D smalls, so it's quite easy. What I would recommend you guys to do is, you know, plan your shopping trip, plan what's near each other, in which R&D small this one is in. Like the 7th and the 8th R&D small are amazing. The 7th is the wealthiest. Uh, we were staying by the Champs-Élysées and we had, like, we were walking distance, distance to the Champs-Élysées. It was just so, so beautiful. Paris just has my heart and i would recommend anybody to go there over and over and over you just never get sick of the beautiful buildings the scenery the streets the vibe the whole lot so just chic and amazing we walked and walked the first couple of days a lot as you can see katie was walking ahead of me there she was tired of me filming and i hope by the way you stick with me on this i know my filming isn't a hundred percent as in sometimes it's too fast but I did my best and it's my first time. So, I mean, I got a lot of scenery in for you in this one. It's the beautiful Celine. This area is Rue de Francois. And as you can see there, I think this was down by Faubourg. Yes, it was, Saint Honoré. And that is just amazing. As you know, that's where the main Hermes street is and or the main Hermes store I did try to get an appointment and you have to wait to see did I t later on um but yeah this is just again more street shots as I said I couldn't stop every corner every turn oh this is on the Champs-Élysées the main Louis Vuitton store here where we have um Yaya Kusama collab she was on the top of the building amazing Dior store with the beautiful pink car I just I went in briefly and had a look around, but I wasn't going to purchase anything from Dior, so we just had a quick look in there. And uh, my main focus was kind of Chanel and Fendi and maybe Hermes. Uh, then we found our way, of course, into Sephora. So Katie was in her absolute element, as you can imagine. This one was off the Champs-Élysées. Again, we spent a lot of time on the Champs-Élysées and Katie got all of her nice products in here that she just absolutely loves. There's a beautiful Guerlain stand and there was actually a Guerlain perfume I was looking for, a fragrance, but they didn't have it here. So I went to the main store and may have purchased something in there. So just a beautiful experience to go in here and it's, it's just fabulous. People were having their makeup done and they have all the products like Drunk Elephant, things that we can't get. There you go. Things that we can't, Katie bought a lot of that. We can't get it here in Ireland. I'm not sure even in Europe. Europe, hello, it's in Paris. But we can't get it in Ireland anyway, so she bought a few bits. This is the main Guerlain store on the Champs-Élysées. It is so beautiful. So Katie's there on her phone, probably texting her friends, going, Mom won't hurry up. <laughs> this is the store inside, and the fragrances are just amazing. I love Guerlain. I have a few of them. And I have a kind of a... Um, little tradition where I like to buy a fragrance on 
on every trip I go to. So yes, I may have purchased, and here we go. Yes, I did. Spiritus Double Vanille, and I can reveal it is just stunning. We did a little bit more shopping, as you can see, and that will be revealed in a little minute. And I bought some Boss there for my son. And these shoes, wait till you see them. I actually bought these in Montmartre. Uh, when I was visiting the Sacre Coeur and the streets and the cobblestones and the village vibe and oh it's just so 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 amazing I would recommend anybody to go to the Montmartre area it is where I think it was Picasso and Dali used to live there at one point but I just saw these and I had to have them because of course you know they have the Paris vibe. I haven't worn them yet trainers and then I popped into Fendi we went to Le Bon uh, Marche, Le Bon Marche, and it's a massive shopping mall and uh, they had so many stores. We went into Fendi and can you guess what I got? Oh my God, actually Fendi are just so amazing. Dale's right about their customer service. Met a gorgeous guy in there in customer service. He was so nice. We had a great chat with him. Katie was busy trying on sunglasses. Manuel was his name if you ever go there. And she was trying on sunglasses and all the rest of it. And I just fell in love with this beauty comment down below if you know what it is and i said i have to I have to go for it i have to go for it even though i had only packed a tiny tiny case as you know in my last video i'll pop it up above i said i don't care i'll get this home somehow unfortunately i had to come home without the box but there you go i didn't really care the house is full of boxes upstairs so to reveal my friends ladies and gents my new beautiful and very parisian from the paris boutique which is going to make it even all the more special i purchased none other than the stunning stunning wait you see the color oh god i can't get over this bag it's just like woo! even when i like i just i just want to keep looking at it oh my god the stunning stunning Fendi first in the size small. I finally, finally did it. It was on my wish list last year. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh my God, when I saw it in the white, it's like a chalky, whitey cream with the um, kind of like lizard skin. I just thought I have to, I just have to. So I've been wanting a white stroke kind of cream bag for ages. And even though the caramel was there, I was also torn between they had a stunning sage green that I was going to go for. But then I said, no, I definitely wanted it to be a summer bag. So I had to be kind of a lighter color. I just love the double F print and the jacquard on the inside. I love the intricate details of the little handles and how the little clasps pop out and pop back in again. Just stunning. So of course we had to go into uh, Hermes and Georges Sank. This store is beautiful. I wanted to see all three stores, to be very honest with you. So I was able to get some footage in here. Again, it's quite fast because, you know, it's not really the done thing to go around with your camera taking all this. But look at that Kelly 25 in the croc. Just so beautiful. And it's very hard to get this footage. I hope you'll appreciate. But I just had to get some for you to have a look, make you feel like you were there with me in some little way. And just to have a look at what was on offer. Oh, we went, we took a show in and we got to see Moulin Rouge. Ladies and gents, if you ever get the chance to get to Paris and to see a show, we were so, so lucky because I actually hadn't booked this before we went over. I just chanced my arm and we were very lucky to be able to get tickets and it just didn't disappoint. Look at this spectacular. Katie was in her element. She was loving the vibe. The staff were amazing. The vibe was stunning. Everybody was just so happy. The talent was incredible. And when you see these ladies dancing, you just, it takes your breath away. The dedication, the fitness level, they're doing this practically seven nights a week. It was just incredible. Here we go, Sacre Coeur Montmartre. Make sure if you go to Paris, you go to Montmartre. It is just amazing. This is the amazing Basilica in Montmartre. It is um, one of the most iconic monuments in Paris at the top of Butte Montmartre. Panoramic view of the capital from 130 meters. 
above the ground. It's a Roman Byzantine style white in colour. The streets in Montmartre, there's a carousel at the foot of it where people come, Instagrammers come to take photographs. And the metros are amazing. It's so easy to get around. The Maison Rose, this was one of the most photographed places in Paris. Beautiful cafes, Le Vrai Paris, stunning. And just the quirkiest little shops. Look at this shop. This little shop just sold ducks. <laughs> I just thought it was the cutest little thing. And of course, I landed upon this little Irish one, didn't I? Good luck. Quack, quack. <laughs> I've lost it. It's all the medication I'm on. So, uh, yeah, I had a bit of fun in this little shop, quirky little shop. And the uh, Montmartre area is full of quirky little shops. There's a couple of vintage shops there. Beautiful cafes and restaurants. It is so gorgeous to walk around. Such a villagey uh, vibe. This You and Me, Perry, that's actually where I bought the trainers uh, in Montmartre. Uh, lovely guy in there. Actually, he went out of his way to help me. And, of course, I got caught up in the moment of being there. And, yes, there they are. There's what caught me in the window. And sure, God knows if I'll ever wear them, but sure, look. <laughs> I was in the trainer mood because we were walking everywhere. So it wasn't many, many heels were not required except for obviously dinners and shows and things like that. So there's the Metro again. It's just so beautiful. Then I made my way to the Sevre store and it just doesn't disappoint, ladies and gents. It's so beautiful. There were so many people taking pictures there and it's iconic and it was just so nice to spend some time walking around it. Katie loved it as well. And I was going to buy a pair of trainers here, actually, but it took so long to get served. It was really busy. I picked the wrong day to go in. It was Saturday. And I was going to buy a pair of trainers in this store, but it, like there was, there was a, a lady ahead of me being served and she just couldn't make up her mind. And she had like five or six. I don't think, you know, she was ever going to stop shopping. So I said, oh, here, this is not worth it. That's the way I am. We had a look at the jewellery. And Katie was picking out a few pieces that she may like in the future, down the road, very down the road. And uh, yeah, it was just really, a really, really nice experience. With the trainers that I was going to buy, I was thinking to myself, well, if I buy these, maybe I'll get an appointment because I had applied for an appointment for a couple of days and I hadn't been successful at that stage. So there's a beautiful little pick of tan. I really like that bag lately, actually. I just love it. Yeah, I pointed it out there to Katie and um, they just had such really, really nice stock. But maybe, I'll, have I got a, a screenshot of the trainers here? They're the little black booty ones. Maybe those ones. Yeah, I was going to buy those black trainers. and uh, But look, I didn't get served. I might get them online. So this is us leaving the Severy store. Plus, I was aware of dragging Katie around. And, you know, I wanted to do things that she enjoyed, not just to be dragging her everywhere. She wanted to look at makeup and different things as well. Bought her a beautiful bracelet, actually. Gold bracelet, just to commemorate our trip. Uh, this is Dior. This was in um, Bon Marche. Yeah, a beautiful, beautiful shopping centre. Look at the Louis Vuitton gear here. If you get a chance, Le Bon Marche, go there. It is really really beautiful dale you would love those little louis vuitton boxes i love them myself actually they were gorgeous so that is where i bought my fendi bag and we are here this is the faubourg saint honore and the celine i went in here i had a look at this bag and the one in the black i was like will i won't i will i won't i was just so tempted but the box leather has me a little bit afraid so i said look think about it now viv because you can get so caught up in the whole kind of you're here in Paris and Celine and you know you just have to be so careful and, and wise with your decisions because you can drop you know three four grand there in two seconds and then walk down the road and drop another so you know and you might be just buying it just because you're in Paris you're in the mood all the rest of it so I left that and it's also a bag I know I can get online if I if I want to pick it up so we just continued walking and taking in the atmosphere and just completely loving the whole experience. Katie said she wants to either live in Paris or London. She's she's talked about London for a long time. And the eye candy, ladies and gents, look at Longchamp, look. Oh my God, you just never get sick of the eye candy just everywhere. And the street style, 
I know Double Vanilla goes around and she does all the street style of women in front of you. Women, like older women in their 70s, just looking so chic in leather jackets and, oh, just incredible. You get caught up in all the jewelry. They had a pomelato here. I've got two pomelato rings, so I had to get this little bit of footage in as well. And look at this. Look at this restaurant. The Normandy Hotel as well. Like, look at the buildings. Incredible. So we made our way to the Louvre, of course. We've both been inside the Louvre before, but we just um, had a bit of fun around here. And this is Gallery Lafayette, which again is off Champs-Élysées. So as you can see, we spent a lot of time. They actually have a Vestiaire Collective in here. I didn't know that. They had a couple of pieces in Vestiaire Collective in there and they've lots of different brands that we wouldn't have here in Dublin. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, my friends, and I hope you like what I bought. Until next time, be kind. Look at the Dior store. Be safe. Love you lots. <laughs>